to best understand solutions for thinning hair, let's understand the problems. Slow growth, cellular generation slows. Directed from DNA, hair density peaks from our age of 16 to 22. As we age, the body reduces its production of essential microminerals necessary for cellular rejuvenation. Blockage of sebaceous glands and the follicle can also inhibit growth. As circulation slows, it limits the nutrients that are taken to the cellular regeneration zone. Irregular cell turnover is often the cause of dandruff, psoriasis, itchy, and oily scalp. Alopecia, male and female pattern baldness. DHT is a hormone that forms naturally in our bodies by our enzyme 5-alpha reductase converting testosterone into DHT. Dihydrotestosterone causes the shrinkage of the follicle and reduced cellular generation results in weak thinning hair and hair loss. Our DNA, stress, hormonal shifts, pregnancy, can trigger a higher production of DHT. Our DNA determines our levels of enzyme reductase 5 and testosterone. Hair will appear finer, weaker, and have limited growth, and ultimately the follicle may collapse to no growth. A third problem is rapid thinning and seasonal loss. To best understand this is to understand how hair grows. There are three life cycles of hair, antigen, catagen, and telogen. Antigen is the growing cycle. Catagen is the resting cycle, and telogen then the falling cycle. As a person's life peaks, they have approximately 100,000 hair on their head. An average to 80 to 100 hair are shed per day. During healthy growth, 90% of the hair is in antigen. It's growing. 10% of the hair is, is percent of the hair is in catagen. It's resting. And the telogen stage is also falling. Late fall and early winter in North America, antigen stage reduces to approximately 75%, increasing hair loss and dull appearance.